Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It is currently 9.59pm on Tuesday, August 17th in New York City, meaning one minute until the Wednesday Crosswords post. Taking a look at yesterday's leaderboard, 10 seconds was enough for first, we had stickers, and then Panda Gucci for a strong top three there, an all Duke top three. Then we had PB Geckner, Murray Unicorn, The Glorp, Emerina, KFS Venta, Lil Sun, and Joe Obi, all at 30 seconds or under. We had Aero Tangos, Justin, Namgo, Cape God, Gordo AM, TR, J Wu, ERL, Hoopla, Bill Boris, and Andrew Cowboy Hat Emoji, all under one minute. Right behind that, we had Phil, Antara Tuna, Panda Doggy, J, Tonomad, M817, and my dude, ABC104. Nice. Well, it's now 10 o'clock in New York City, meaning we should have some Wednesday crosswords. So here is a spoiler alert for the Wednesday mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, we're centered, we're recording, let's get into it. Gas giant, I think, whoops. Uh, as am I. Uh, visit. Uh, well, maybe it's as do I. Add to, snout, and tip. All right. Gas giant. I, I got up that off the get-go, but I typed wrong. And I had as am I here first. Good things that can come to those who wait. Nice clue, like waiting at table. VHS and tot. Cool. Anyway, now for the main event. That is the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Alina Abadi. Abadi? Alina Abadi today. Here's a spoiler alert. If you like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, let's get into it. Uh, not sure, Dad, is it pop? Not sure, blank fair, ren fair, fly by night type. Holy mackerel, fill up in a way. Vis visual in an annual report. A chart or a graph? Maybe a graph, maybe EGAD here. Nimble, Nimble is agile. Horn swoggle. Uh, okay, instrument played. Ooh. Toggle option. Is it on off? So that's oboe, is it? Guest blank columns. Guest column. Black and white item in his sleeve. Oreo. VIP on base. Sarge. Are the VIPs winner bugs? With 26 cross game that uses a blindfold. In the tail. On the donkey. Okay, so it's not. Column. Guest essays, I think. Now that I think about it. What an asterisk might suggest. Gardening tool. Centaur's foot is a hoof. This is ho. Uh, moth there. Parm. Airy aster. Delude. Blues. Uh, fats. This is ho. C note. This is plum. Transform. Morph. Repeated string. Is it forward? Yeah, that's February. E how, I think. Things best kept under one's hat. Why? What for? Data structure with a root node is a tree. Puts up, erect, get go outset. This is the NSA. Blank canvas, that's nice, Phil. It was oboe. Bird that has no natural predators. Is that dodo? Half of a half bathroom. Item exchange in a so called Yankee swap. Uh, white elephant? Uh, okay, bad hair day here. Bad hair days. Undo, negate. PGA. This is Toilet, Tiny Toy Maker, Elf, or the Overseas OTCs, so that's FDA. This is Edom, Fruit Who Seeds can act as a pep sub super back black peppercorns. This is TV Ad, Get, situ get Situated, John Lewis born in Alabama, I guess. Tucker, who had her first hit in 1972, not sure, Pacify. Appease, Latin Gods are Day, this is Ski. It'd be my pleasure. Frequent reveler or a hint to those. Party animal. I see. Shared one's views. Opined. For all ages. 
rated E for everyone. This is desk. Shaming syllable is this. Aches for words after a gasp. Pretzel, basically. A knot, maybe? Hearty laugh is a yuck. Papayas, I see. Also, plus cartoonists suggested by this puzzle's theme. The first cloned mammals use drug doses. Uh, it could be like CCs or MLs or something. Yarn, a tail. Piggy is a toe. Show with the recurring character Target Lady in brief. SNL. Oh no. Light bulb moment is aha. Uh, is it? Uh, Nast. It is a cartoonist. I just don't remember. Get situated. It's Orient. Oh, I get any Tanya. Lots. It could be a ton. It says Tattle. Add all in dialect. No, how? Thomas Nast. Uh, combined in one and longs for milligrams in the end there. Okay, interesting theme for several reasons. Um, first of all, the revealer is kind of here. But then there's another revealer. So, <laughs> and then um, it's interesting that the first themer is really split up into two pieces. Uh, it doesn't happen all that often. So it's, it actually seems here like the theme material is a little bit thin. But then this is the actual revealer, because the animals here are donkey and elephant, which represent the two major political parties in the United States. And I believe they originate in this cartoon by Thomas Nast. Perhaps. Yeah. So he did not create Uncle Sam or the Democratic Donkey. I wonder who created it. Okay, but he at least used them, I guess. Yeah, who created the... Did he create the, the, the Republican elephant? Ah, uh, yeah, he did. Okay. Among his notable works were the creation of Santa Claus, the modern version, and the political symbol of the elephant for the GOP. I wonder who created the Democratic donkey. He did popularize them through his artwork, so... Okay. Regardless, that's that's interesting. Um, that this theme has so many interesting things happening. Uh, so, um, who is this? Alina Abidi noticed that donkey and elephant both occur in party games. Ah, and even... Wow, there's like another layer because they are like the animals that represent the, the two parties. Wow, this is like uh, mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Lots of interesting stuff in this theme. I like it. I think that's fun because there's sort of several layers of, of reveal. Um, parm. Yeah, I guess that's that is what the modifier does kind of mean, but. Sufjan Stevens. Very mellow. I don't think I realized there was an oboe in Sufjan Stevens. I seem to recall Oreo really liking... I hope I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> Sufjan. American singer, songwriter, and multi-instrumentalist. Wood it just says woodwinds here, but presumably that those woodwinds include the oboe. Yeah, I, I've listened to some Sufjan Stevens in my time. I didn't realize there's oboe involved. Speaking of Oreo liking Sufjan Stevens, shout out to Oreo. How are Sarge's VIPs? I mean, it's a, it's a pretty high NCO, but it's not like a, like a general or anything. Let's see. Alabama, instead of calling it as a la. That's just an interesting choice there. It'd be my pleasure. A ton. It's kind of okay, I think. The a uh there is not that displeasing because it's not like, I don't know, a book or something. A ton is something. It's like a, it's its, it's, its own unit as a phrase, I guess. It's not great, but it's not, it's not so bad. 
Yeah, pretty clean, pretty clean. Ari Aster. Did I know about Midsommar? Is it classic or is it new? It's new. Folk horror film. Hmm. I wonder how... What are the Rotten Tomatoes ratings like? An A24 film. A24 does tend to put out good movies. 83% of Rotten Tomatoes. Maybe it's worth checking out. Ren for Renaissance there. I like Blank Canvas and Bad Hair Days in the southwest there. Yeah, Bad Hair Days is nice. Tanya Tucker, I didn't know. But my knowledge of um, musicians is quite poor. I wonder if Liz got Edom today. Liz, let me know in the comments down below. Um, rated E for everyone. It's just a phrase you hear on game commercials, right? Yeah, nice. I, li I, like, I like the layers to this theme. I think that's... This puzzle sort of keeps on giving, even after you've, um... Even after you've solved it. So that's nice. That'll be... I don't know. Let's call it average for a Wednesday. And the leaderboard for tomorrow, we have KFS Venta on the public leaderboard and on the old secret leaderboard. Do we have anybody yet? Nobody yet. So just me and KFS Venta here. Waiting for all of y'all to do the mini. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you tomorrow for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.